right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So I'm just going to jump right in. So as you know, the fire alarm has been upgraded. This is a picture of the old fire alarm box. They ripped out all the guts. They left the box and they went ahead and switched all the internals. And this is what it looks like now. Different different types of fire alarm cards and stuff like that. I really have no idea what I'm talking about, but they changed out a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Power supplies, rewired the power for this and all that good stuff. But anyways, I'm going to be telling you guys how or what we did today with the fire alarm and troubleshooting, finding the end of line resistors and stuff like that. So using the codes and all that stuff, we figured out which circuit was which with the labels that they transferred over uh, when we basically just disconnected the wires off of the little terminal blocks. And then we hooked up the uh, toner right here. This one that we were using was from Klein Tools. Uh, we're using, we are borrowing this toner from this guy named Gary. What's up, Gary? If you're watching this, we borrowed Gary's toner and it's just a lifesaver using the little alligator clips right here. You basically create a tone and then you have this little wand and it, you basically walk around and you can figure out if something is on the same circuit but by the little uh, signal that it makes. It creates a tone. Um, it's really helpful. But anyways, I'll la leave you to myself um, and there's a few troubles that we have left, <clears throat> but we did so much and this is a picture of my lunch. So here we go. Alright guys, so for this part of the video, I'm going to try to explain it correctly because I am failing miserably and uh, yeah. So anyways, this is the area of the first floor layout. This is a pharmacy, gift shop, cafeteria area, elevators, information desk, front doors, stairs, kind of pillar stairs, and then the fire command center. Each of these red boxes, or each of these red squares is a fire alarm device, uh, either a strobe or a chime. I think most of them were chimes at least, but usually chimes are strobes, um, both a combo of, usually chimes are chimes and strobes, and strobes are usually just strobes. But either way, we set up the toner on this uh, first box over here. Basically, we disconnected, we opened it up, disconnected the wires, so they were sitting like this um, off of the back of the, uh, off the back of the fire alarm device because each side has a in and out, um, I mean, there's an in and out and they land on the same terminals. So you have your positive red, your black is negative. Um, so basically we took off the chime because that's what we were looking for. So basically just deleted that. And then we had it free, hanging free air. And then you take your meter, which I'll go grab my meter real quick just to show you what that looks like. So once you grab your meter, you go ahead and you start by checking the voltage. So you switch on over to the V for voltage, and then you use your test leads on the back on the wires um, right there. So I would put my red and black on the red and black. It doesn't really matter which is which. You can put your red on the black and your black on the red. But anyways, you take your, uh, you take your leads and you set it on, you put it on one set of wires. Um, if one set, one side has voltage, you know that's the power side, and if you look on the other side, the other one will be dead, if everything is correct. Um, so you don't wanna test the resistance on the voltage side, you don't accidentally, don't wanna blow up your meter or anything like that. I'm not sure if it will or if it has safety precautions, but once you find out the voltage side, let's just say this one is voltage, then you check the resistance on the other side. So you go switch on over to the resistance right there with a the little ohm symbol, and then from, and then from there, you go ahead and um, we you can set your uh, can set your toner on here. But we did it down at the panel with the home run. So we had the toner going downstairs, and it was making a um, a tone on the uh, one set of the wires, the incoming set of wires. Um, and we just decided to check this box right here um, because we had no idea where to start. Um, and so from there, we. Um, went ahead and put that box back together. But first we kind of walked around and saw that all these had signals uh, because once you hook up the toner, you can take the little wand and you can walk around to each device and it makes a little certain pitch noise. Um, so you know um, that this is all the same circuit. So that's really, really cool and helpful. So you don't have to open up every single one of these boxes, trace the wire out hand by hand through the ceiling or anything like that. So we knew all these were on the same circuit. We were just trying to find the end of it and which direction that the wires went. So we hooked up the wires back to the chime, 
put it back together. Um, and so basically when you break this apart, um, when you take the wires off of the positive and the negative, then it kills the rest of the line. Sa kind of the same thing with receptacles. If you, if you have the home run kind of like, if you have the receptacles, like you have your home run wire here, you have your receptacle here and a another receptacle down here. If you disconnect the wires going to this receptacle, then this receptacle is not going to work and there's still going to be power here. So kind of the same, the same idea here with the fire alarm. If you disconnect the incoming or if you disconnect the outgoing wires to the next box, then you're going to have no signal. So we knew there was signal on like all these boxes. And so from there, we went ahead and disconnected the, uh, the outgoing wires um, because we knew the incoming wire had signal from the panel downstairs. This is just a random circle or a random square for the panel um, from downstairs. And this is the first floor and that's um, the floor below. Let's just say P1 for some reason. So anyways, once you disconnect the, um, once you disconnect the wires off of the back of the device, then you can see, okay, this box doesn't have a signal anymore. This box doesn't have a noise. This box doesn't have a noise. So we know that the wire, the, the wires are ran this direction because um, the, the, there is a signal at this box and then there's a signal at this box here and then no signal down here. So we know that this wire goes to this box and so on. So anyways, after hours and hours of opening up random boxes, so we checked this box and then we're like, okay, maybe it's down here. Um, and then we're, we still had the signal coming in this side and then we disconnected it and we knew there was a signal here and then there, and then we disconnected this box and then this box had no signal. So we knew that the, the signal was coming around like this. And then we're like, okay, maybe it's over here, but we already checked that one. So then we're like, okay, maybe, maybe it's over here um, and stuff like that. So anyways, by the end of it, we found out the direction of the wire was going around the building like this. And then we found the end of the line resistor over here by process of elimination. Um, and this might have looped back like that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. But anyways, we knew the wire was, the home run was over here on this side. And by basically opening up boxes and disconnecting the wires off of the back um, and trial and error, we finally got it. Um, so yeah, that's one really messy, quick explanation of how to do fire alarm um, like tracing for end of line resistors, if you ever come into that. So basically just break apart the wires off the back of the device and then using a toner and the wand that it comes with, really, really helpful. Um, and yeah, basically you just have to go box by box, kind of just jump from box to box. You're not going to want to do, okay, this one to this one to this one to this one. You're going to want to jump from this side and then you're going to want to jump in the middle and then Okay, if it's go to the left, you're gonna check these boxes. If it's to the right, you're gonna to wanna to check these boxes. So it's really just a process of elimination. Um, so it's very, very cool and very, very helpful to use the toner and stuff like that. Those run about $78 on Amazon and very, very useful, save you a lot of time. And we did the same thing upstairs, um, but not with the devices and the boxes. What we did upstairs on the third floor, we did the same thing at the end of the day. Well, not the same thing, it was different, but we had another uh, panel on the third floor and that was in this closet over here and just tracing the wire itself through the riser um, box, we found the signal by setting up the toner downstairs in the basement going up to the third floor in the riser, okay, we found the, we took the toner wand and okay, the wire's coming up through here, and then we checked up through the ceiling, the wire's going this direction down down the hallway, let me fix that. So there's a hallway here, right next to the closet. And then the hallway goes that way, and then this way. So using the toner, we saw the wires were coming out of the ceiling and then down the hallway. And so basically popped a ceiling tile here. Okay, we still have signal on this wire. It goes down to the left. I can't see any more down here. Pop another tile, check again. Wire still coming this way. Pop another tile down here, can't see it. It goes around the corner, still have signal at this spot right here. And then, okay, we're gonna check another tile down here, halfway down the hallway, still have signal. 
and then the end of the hallway down here. Okay, we still have signal at the very end past the room that we thought it was at. And then it ended up being on the other side of this wall in this suite over here. And it was actually in a box right there by tracing the, by toning on the wire just down the hallway. Didn't have to do hand over hand or anything like that. Taping the wire, two people pulling on it, cutting zip ties, anything like that. Just took the toner down the hallway and it was super, super helpful. Saved a lot of time. Just really great and uh, pretty awesome. So ever working for a company, make sure you get a toner if you're doing troubleshooting with a fire alarm, anything like that. And I'm pretty sure it even works on like high voltage stuff. Anyways, super, super helpful, super awesome. Um, hopefully that some of that made sense to you. Quick, quick, very quick explanation. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Giveaway ends on Monday and giveaway winner, giveaway winner is picked on Monday. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. God bless. Have an awesome rest of the day. See ya. Peace.